Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast. And in today's forecast, we'll be talking about a huge pattern change that'll be impacting the United States over the next 7 to 10 days that'll bring the threat for a winter storm along with an Arctic blast. We'll also be watching the threat for a little bit of severe weather and a very active next 7 days across the United States. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast, but let's first begin with what's happening across the United United States today and we'll begin with parts of the Midwest and this is an area that we've actually seen a lot of activity throughout the day today we've actually had a little bit of severe weather as well in parts of Wisconsin back through Minnesota this area is dealing with some thunderstorm activity that's that red and as well as the orange colors that you're seeing on the infrared imagery that's representing some pretty cold cloud tops which means we're having some supercells in that area now this area is going to undergo a huge change as we go into the weekend and next week because we are going to see a very strong cold front roll through this region so it's gonna get very cold there and there might even be a chance for snow once we get closer to the weekend and we'll discuss more details on that later in this forecast across the great plains a lot of activity here as well we have some showers and as well as really a couple of storms out there the only area that we're seeing any thunderstorm activity would be back down in north texas but otherwise it's mostly just rain and that heavy rain will continue for the next several hours and we're gonna see a lot of rain over the next several days with a very strong southerly wind pulling moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico, which will lead to more rainfall down the road. Now, in the Pacific Northwest, this is an area that we actually have a very subtle cold air mass that has really not moved at all over the last several days. It is just sitting there back in southwest Canada near Montana, and this is going to slowly drop out of Canada over the next several days. And what this will do is it's going to trigger an Arctic blast for parts of the northern plains, and we'll also see a cold blast go as far south as the southern plains, Midwest, and even the Ohio Valley. So again, it's going to get pretty cold as we get closer to the weekend and there might even be some snow along with that and I'll show you more details on that here in just a moment but let's begin with the temperature outlook for the next several days because it's going to get cold climate prediction center right now is forecasting below normal temperatures that are likely across anywhere in the blue shaded region this actually goes from the pacific northwest all the way into the northeast southern plains the highest likelihood of this happening would be in parts of minnesota back in the northern plains basically and this is for our next week so from the 30th of october until the 3rd of November. So Monday to Friday, that's the time frame for next week where we will see below normal temperatures in those areas. So some great news if you're looking forward to some winter-like weather. All right, let's talk about these cold air masses a little bit more. So right now we have above normal temperatures across much of the Midwest and the Ohio Valley. That goes through the Southern Plains. Another area back over in Canada, that is your cold air mass. This is what's going to bring that Arctic blast later this week. Notice that over the next several days, it's not going to really move much. It's going to leak into Montana, maybe Maybe Wyoming just a little bit as we get closer to Wednesday and to Thursday but again it's not really moving very quick it's a pretty slow cold air mass once we get closer to Friday though we're going to see a low pressure system race off to the north and northeast and what this will allow is this cold air mass to dip a bit further down to the south so by Friday afternoon we'll be seeing below normal temperatures across the northern plains and as far south as the panhandle of Texas but when it really will get cold is during the weekend so notice this cold air mass refuels a little bit it starts to move further down to the south as we go into Sunday, and that is where you see all this purple, by the way. That is well below normal temperatures, and that's going to go all the way down into Texas and as well as into the Midwest. Notice how large this is by Monday. We'll be looking at below normal temperatures for a really large chunk of the United States. This will literally go all the way into the East Coast. It's going to be that large. Eventually by Tuesday, that's Halloween Day, cold air mass will continue to move to the east, impacting areas along the East Coast, and eventually return a bit more back to normal by the end of next week but again it's gonna get pretty cold you might be wondering how cold will it actually get well here are the wind chills this is one way to look at it i mean this is what it feels like outside when we have the wind factored in to the actual temperatures and notice by thursday morning we're gonna be down into the single digits perhaps even below zero in parts of montana so it's gonna feel very cold up there by the time we get closer to saturday morning that cold air mass will start to usher into parts of the central plains in the midwest so some areas feeling like the 30s maybe some 20s by the time we get to Sunday, this leaks a little bit further down to the south, approaching Oklahoma and the Texas Panhandle. Notice below zero temperatures are possible in the northern plains, so North Dakota and uh, as well as Minnesota. Eventually by Monday morning, notice it's all the way down into Texas. It's going to, again, go very far down to the south. Midwest will be into the teens and 20s for feel-like temperatures. By Tuesday morning, so Halloween morning, we actually could drop into the teens and 20s as well over in the mountains, back over in the Appalachians, back over on the east coast. 
eventually by Wednesday morning of next week. That's when things do very well become more uncertain, but it looks like a large majority of the United States will be at least feeling like they are below freezing. So again, it's going to get pretty cold out there. Main exception really is Florida and as well as the Southwest United States, but again, otherwise it's going to be pretty cold out there. Here are the current forecasted low temperatures, so not the wind chills, the actual temperatures on Tuesday morning of next week. So about seven days from now, and really the one thing I'd point out is where that freezing line is. Right now the European model has that freezing line all the way basically in the Texas Panhandle, across parts of Kentucky, into parts of the Midwest. So there's a pretty high likelihood we will see freeze warnings in effect for some areas as we go into next week. Again, where that exactly is, it's a bit uncertain. Again, this line very well could shift further south and further north. It could go either way. We are still seven days out and there is still some uncertainty even though the computer models have been very consistent to this point. All right, let's talk about the snow chances, the rainfall, everything that's basically coming this week because there's going to be a lot of activity. So beginning with today and tomorrow, a lot of rainfall is expected. So a couple things to point out here. We're going to continue to see heavy rainfall, showers, even maybe some severe storms back down in parts of Texas for tomorrow. Damaging winds, large hail, maybe an isolated tornado will be possible. Back over in parts of the northern plains, we'll be watching for a winter storm. So this will be one of the winter storms we're watching. We might see some winter weather activity as we get closer to the weekend, but I wouldn't really consider that to be a winter storm at this point. I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. But as we go into late Wednesday and Thursday, snow will fall across parts of North Dakota and even the northwest quadrant of Minnesota. Heavy rainfall continues from the southern plains back into the Midwest. Eventually by Thursday afternoon into the evening hours, rainfall across the Midwest. Again, nothing too crazy here. It's mostly just rain. Not really looking at a severe weather event. And then by Friday morning, we'll be watching a winter storm back up in the northern plains to continue. So it's going to last probably about a couple days. Pretty slow moving initially, then it'll start racing off to the east. Then once we go into the weekend, this is where things become very uncertain in terms of snowfall because there is a chance for snow from the Midwest back through the Central Plains, but notice the European model here by Saturday morning showing some very light snow activity across parts of the Midwest and back through the Central Plains, and eventually going into the Sunday morning time frame, we might even see some snow as far south as maybe Northwest Illinois, and as well as back through Kansas. So again, a lot of uncertainty here. If there is any snowfall, it will probably be very light. So I'm not expecting really any substantial accumulation if we see snow this weekend, but there will be a chance for your first snowfall of the season in those areas. Otherwise, a lot of heavy rainfall, and eventually as we go into next week, things become a bit more uncertain. Could we get some flurries, maybe some light snow, lake effect snow even possibly by Tuesday? Entirely possible for next week, but again, we are still about a week out from now. Here's a little comparison, by the way. This is the European model for Sunday morning. Notice again, a lot of snowfall, but overall it's very light. Maybe a little mixture as well of some, maybe some sleet mixing in there with the snow and rain and also here's the gfs model so just another look at it but the gfs model a little bit different here it shows kind of similar stuff but overall the snowfall a bit further up to the north initially it actually shows some freezing rain across parts of kansas and the oklahoma panhandle so again there is a lot of uncertainty here still things will be kind of figured out over the next 24 to 48 hours so stay tuned make sure you're subscribed to the channel we'll keep you posted with any major changes that come out of this in terms of rainfall for the next several days the keys at the bottom of your screen the weather prediction center for casting upwards of three to six inches of rain across parts of Oklahoma. We'll also see the similar impacts across parts of the upper Midwest. In terms of snowfall totals out of the initial winter storm back over in parts of the northern plains, we actually could see upwards of a foot of snow, so definitely be mindful of that if you're back over in parts of North Dakota. Otherwise, very minimal snowfall totals. This would be out of the, the weekend event, so look at Nebraska. Again, not really much of anything if we were to see any snow, but again, these are very early estimates. Things will likely change over the next few days. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the button down below and subscribe if you've not already.